You got any methods on reaching my audience on YouTube? Okay, so I'm gonna, this is just a little quick breakdown, bro. This is the only free game I'm gonna give y'all, bro, because this is shit that's in my community. I really ain't even probably telling y'all shit like this. So, boom, if you're trying to blow up on YouTube, bro, this is where a lot of y'all be fucking up at. Y'all niggas get on YouTube, me, I post 50 different genres of content, and y'all be trying to do 50,000 different things, gang. You can't post car content, fucking shopping vlogs, and fucking public interviews on the same page. And the reason why you can't do that shit is because for one twin, you confusing YouTube because YouTube has an algorithm twin. They be like picking up like keywords and shit like that. So if your ass is out this bitch talking about some ZL1 POV, then in the next video, your ass talking about public interview. Then in the next video, you talking about some I'm I'm fucking I'm going shopping gang. YouTube is like, nigga, do you want me to show this to shopping niggas, car niggas, or you get what I'm saying? So you gotta pick a, a niche, first of all, Twin. That's going to be your biggest thing. Figuring out what type of content you want to produce, Twin. It's not to say you can't do everything, Twin, but you got to break it down, Twin. The reason why Quan don't have him doing POV videos on his channel, him doing vlogs, and him doing fucking Poppy Q content is because, gang, the algorithm will confuse you and you won't be able to go nowhere with that shit, Twin. Niggas be wondering why they don't pull in no views. It's not to say your content ass. It's not to say that you're not making five videos, but, gang, if your titling sucks, if your thumbnails suck or if you posting all over the place, you're not going to be able to build no traction, bro. Not at the point to where you got to separate your content, twin. So look, twin, you got a car channel specifically dedicated to car shit, twin. Every time you post a title with some car shit in it, the algorithm is going to push that shit to car niggas. So now you're going to build your platform up and you're going to build your subscribers up quicker because the people that are seeing your shit are the people that watch the first video. Look at it like this. They watch your channel. They seen a car video. Then the next Video you post after they subscribe is a fucking vlog. They like, nigga, I'm here for the POV. Where the fuck the Corvette at? You see what I'm saying, twin? That's where I used to fuck up at. Nigga, I would have videos get 10K views on a shopping vlog. Then I get 5K views on a car vlog. And I'd be like, damn, why the fuck is this shit not picking up? It's because the algorithm like, damn, nigga, what you trying to do? And my followers is like, what you trying to do? Because a nigga will sub to you and then see some other shit, bro. Niggas ain't there for that. So like I said, twin, separate your content. Create different genres. And, bro, quality over quantity, gang. You can push out 30 videos a fucking month. Bullshit ass shit on a little cheap ass camera, twin, with some shitty ass thumbnails. But when you record that hour-long, high-quality video, twin, with a nice-ass picture as your thumbnail, bro, it's always going to hit harder, twin. You ever seen a nigga who posts million videos a month, but you got a nigga that posts one video a month who makes twice as much money and generates twice as much views? Quality over quantity, twin. I ain't going to cap. And, bro, you don't have to do what everybody doing. A lot of niggas think the way to blow up is to, to goddamn adjust the trends and shit. No, bro, you supposed to set a trend, twin. It's easier to become a famous nigga off of setting a trend then hopping on the train, right, twin? So look, if niggas on YouTube is all doing fucking whatever they doing, twin, and you trying to do the same shit, you always gonna be under the niggas who did it before you, gang, which is why I tell you, you supposed to set trends, not, not hop on trends for me. I get on YouTube, gang, and I'm gonna watch what people are doing, but I'm gonna put my own spin on this shit because you don't ever wanna be compared to niggas, and you always wanna set your platform from everybody else. You know what I'm saying, bro? At the end of the day, gang, I put it I put it all the way down to you, bro. It's a thousand niggas doing uh fucking studio videos, right? But the reason why No Love Mark got 1.6 million followers and the reason why niggas can't cancel this nigga is because quality over quantity, gang. I don't care how many niggas is dropping 20 versus videos. He still has the best audio. It still got the best cameras. And he still is paying the highest amount of money for the niggas to come on there when it comes to collaborations. You gonna watch him first, twin. It's the same shit with anybody, gang. So... Quality over quantity, separate your content, uh, and bro, make sure your videos is entertaining and long, twin, view duration and shit be mattering. Y'all niggas be dropping a bullshit ass 20 minute video, twin, and wondering why the shit don't pop off, but if a nigga ain't watching at least 5 to 10 minutes of this 20 minute video, twin, the algorithm not gonna catch that shit, gang. So if y'all young nigga watching this shit, bro, take that shit into consideration. Separate your content, diversify your shit, quality over quantity, and shit, bro. Let the algorithm help you by helping your fucking self, twin. Find you something that you could do that could separate you from everybody else. But make sure that, like, you putting your own spin on shit. You know what I'm saying, twin? It's always going to be trends going on, twin. Yeah, bro. You could hop on the trend without hopping on the trend. You know what I'm saying, twin? Nigga, I blew up in, in the vlog shit, and I ain't nowhere near where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is, bro, I didn't come into the vlog shit. Got them selling y'all my lifestyle for real, bro. I came into this shit. Doing the vlogs the same way everybody else was, but I was trying to spread a message. So y'all niggas start fucking with me just for the genuine content and shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I blew up, twin, 
it always separated me from everybody else because yes, bro, I'm a vlogger, bro. But I took a different standpoint at this vlog shit, bro. I didn't come into the vlog shit. I got a car. I got the nicest crib in the world. I came into this shit telling y'all niggas like shit. We all got, got the same 24 hours in a day. I got skin and bones. So at the end of the day, twin, I hopped on the trend of vlogging, but I created my own lane in this shit. You just gotta goddamn make your own way, bro. It ain't nothing wrong with that shit, bro. When you look at the people like SRT Land, the reason why SRT Land is popping is because, yeah, he doing car content, which is hopping on the trend, but he diversified himself, bro. Thumbnails with fucking uh, helicopters inside the thumbnails, bro. What I'm trying to tell y'all niggas is, bro, it's a way to approach the internet and put your own spin on shit that's going on, and that's how you're gonna pop off. You're not gonna pop off from doing what everybody doing. You're gonna pop off from looking at what everybody doing and showing niggas that. You could do your own shit and niggas will still fuck with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I tell y'all folks to always like pick up game. Always watch what the, the upcoming people doing, but always be you. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the moment that you trying to do with somebody else doing this shit, they gonna compare you. That nigga Los. He nigga gonna compare you. Hey Los, look, twin. This is just because I know you could talk about this shit personally, twin. Hey, so look, Los. You was in a situation, twin, where you was around people, twin, and niggas was trying to get you to do what they was doing, twin. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna say no names, twin. You know exactly what I'm talking about, twin. But at the moment that you distanced yourself and separated yourself, you created a platform for yourself, right? Because at the point to where you was with them niggas, twin, niggas was watching you because you was with those niggas. Now, once you got them separated yourself and started doing your own content, twin, you created a platform for yourself, right? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. Like, bro, you could be around niggas doing whatever's trending, bro. But until you separate yourself and do your own shit, niggas are always going to look at you for this one thing or going to look at you for these people you around. But what I'm trying to tell you is, bro, creating your own platform, your own personal brand, being known for something outside of what you're known for. You get what I'm saying? Because, of course, I'm known for Casper and shit, but my personal brand is built off of genuine content and talking to people. If I never had the motivational videos, bro, I probably would have still blew up trying to sell my lifestyle to people. Y'all was going to fuck with the ZL1. Y'all was going to fuck with me, me, and AB. Y'all was going to fuck with the CA and all that shit. But what I'm trying to tell you is, if behind the scenes I wasn't posting them clips and shit, I don't think my platform would be what it was. You know what I'm saying? Bro, never mess up a cent. Yes, the fuck I do, twin boy. If you watch my vlogs, I be tweaking. And to the person that keeps talking about me saying, twin, I cut this shit off, bro. That's one thing about me. It's like a filter, bro. It's called a uh, fucking, what's that shit called, bro? Cold swap, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I can quickly stop using that word if I wanted to. I'm saying that word because I really don't fucking care. Yo ass and this bitch on his fan page commenting in my comment section with fucking smoky. Yo, not even smoky, bro. This nigga got Mike Epps as your profile picture. Your life sucks, bro. Enjoy your day. <clears throat> I'm finna help you, gang, because you're gonna be in this bitch trying to talk to me for the rest of the day, bro. Is that ET? Hell yeah. Where the hell LeBron is at? Nigga, I got so many shits in here, bro. We got ET, LeBron finger, finger light up somehow. How the fuck you do this shit? It dark as hell, but the little nigga finger light up, twin. You can't even see the bitch because it's dark, but yeah. We got ET. Nigga's got um, some Mario shit in this bitch. Some pints in this hoe. A little McDonald's, man. This shit is some shit, man. trying to get in the community it's in my bio somebody said what's that tattoo on my hand it's basically a skeleton on this side and a female face on this side it's like the separation between life and death a lot of people scared of like dying and shit but niggas don't understand like death is like a form of freedom for real because at the point where you don't got to pay bills you don't got to worry about being stressed out you don't got to worry about sadness none of that shit twin you are free and within the universe twin like death is like really a beautiful thing for real gang a lot of people don't understand that life is harder than death if you want to be honest so I got it tatted on my body because, like, I really believe in that shit for real. Oh, God, like, I really believe, like, I really believe that it's two sides to this shit, bro. Life is beautiful, but death is just as beautiful, and a lot of people don't understand that shit. A lot of people are scared of death, but don't understand that death is true freedom. You being released from your physical body and you being able to be a part of the universe and a part of the higher plane. A lot of niggas don't understand, bro. We don't know where you go when you leave this bitch, but that's the that's the unanswered question. But that's why I always feel like death is a beautiful thing, bro. It's the thing that we don't understand, which is why we choose to be scared of that shit. You scared of what you don't understand, bro. I ain't never been scared of that shit because I know that at the point that I leave this bitch is no more pain. It ain't no more suffering. Ain't no more struggling. It's no more nothing. The hell going on, man, man? Hey, man, y'all folks go tap in on my little brother tape, man. My little brother just dropped. I'm talking about hottest five songs. I think like four or five songs. Hottest five songs on the tape y'all gonna hear on my mama. Say, like me and Lil Tony putting you down. 
Y'all hold on, wait till a man man bit to be trying to hop on the wave. I put y'all down early on. I be putting nigga down early on. They be waiting too late now. Y'all gonna wait till a man man got got a hundred k followers. A little bit. Nah, bro. I'm trying to put y'all down now. Y'all go look at little man man and take them up for some hot shit. Say, hell is heaven. Let me got down. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm finna get down. Put my lips in the bone. I'm finna get high for real. I'm finna get high for real, shout out. So my little brother got that hot shit, man. I'm trying to think my favorite song, y'all. I'm finna tell y'all my favorite song on the tape here right now. Cause y'all know I be playing y'all down on the music selection. Hold up, y'all. Man, man, I'm finna put, man, I'm finna put any guy down, twin. Y'all gotta go listen to... You gotta listen to Get Out First with you on that bitch on my mama. That the one. She said, hey, baby, daddy. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you gotta listen to Get Out First with you, And then you gotta listen to I Know. I'm telling y'all. Five song tape. He ain't miss. Right. It's one of the best side hustles. Oh, uh, I don't even want to lie to you, gang. Like, I really like this internet money shit because this shit is easy. It's, it's something that you could tap into at any point in time, and I can make money off of this shit whenever I choose to. So that shit is some crazy shit. But I, don't, I can't tell you what the best side hustle is. I'm finna get off of this bitch, though, y'all. I got shit I got to do today, man. Y'all folks go get active, go be productive and all that good shit, man.